Hello boys and girls, welcome to Assembly Time. My name is Mr. Davis and I love stories. Do you like stories? Excellent, because I've got a great story for you today for a very special time of year. Because you see, in the old days of the Bible, people had forgotten about Bethlehem town. It was a small little town in the middle of nowhere. Nothing ever happened there. Everything was small, but God had a great plan for it. He said in the old days of the Bible that he would send a king, a king who would change the whole world. And you know, it says in the Bible that God has a great plan for you and for me as well. It says in the Bible that God has a plan for us to give us a hope and a future. And he's going to do it by sending his special gift. Now, I imagine that Bethlehem was such a small little town that everything was small. Small houses, small shops, small little inns. And if you owned a small inn, I imagine that you would be very, very grumpy. You see, this innkeeper, I imagine, would have been a very grumpy man. See, nothing ever happened. Everything was boring. And nothing happened. And so you can't run an inn by opening the door to people and going, hello. You need to be excited. You need to be happy to see them. So I imagine he would have worked out a plan to get people through the door. Do you want to help me? Excellent. Here's the rhyme. Are you ready? Knock, knock. Big smile. Open the door. Say hello. Carry their bags to the room and give them the key. Are you ready? Excellent. Knock, knock. Big smile. Open the door. Say hello. Carry their bags to their room and give them the key. Knock, knock. Big smile. Open the door. Say hello. Carry their bags to their room and give them the key. Are you ready? Knock, knock. Big smile. Open the door. Say hello. Carry their bags to their room and give them the key. <sighs> but you see, for this man, nothing ever made him happy. He was waiting for something special. Maybe a gift that would make him happy for a really long time. Well, the Bible tells us that everyone is looking for something special. A great gift that will give people joy and peace on the inside. And the Bible tells us that God sent it to a little town called Bethlehem Town. Now, this small little town had some big news. Caesar had decided that everyone must go back to their hometown and write a form called a census to say where they now lived. But that meant they all had to travel back to the place where they were born, which meant lots and lots of people were all having to come to Bethlehem town. The grumpy innkeeper got excited. Oh, that means all these people are all going to be coming back to Bethlehem town. And where are they going to stay? In my inn! Yes! Oh no, he thought. Wait a minute. Who's going to have to do all the work? Who's going to have to hoover the stairs and clean the windows and change all the beds? Me. And then he practiced one more time. Knock, knock. Big smile. Open the door. Say hello. Carry their bags to their room and give them the key. Excellent. Well, there was no time for practicing. There was a real knock at the door and a real first guest. So he did exactly what we've been practicing. He went, knock, knock, big smile, open the door, say hello, carry their bags to their room and give them the key. Well, there was no chance by the time he got to the top of the stairs and let the first guest in, there was another knock at the door. Are you ready? Knock, knock, big smile, open the door, say hello, carry their bags to their room and give them the key. Guess what? Knock, knock, big smile, open the door, say hello, carry their bags to their room and give them the key. <sighs> but now this inn was getting smaller and smaller as more and more people went inside of it. There were people everywhere. Some were in their rooms, some were in the living room, some, I imagine, were sleeping in the kitchen. His inn was completely full. But you know, it tells us in the Bible that with all the excitement of Christmas, of presents and turkey and spending time with family and playing games, that you know, our hearts can get full. There is no room for anything else. But this time of year, this time, why don't you remember what the real reason of Christmas is all about? It's not just about presents and turkey and spending time with family and friends and playing games. It's about a real gift from God. And his name 
is Jesus. Then he heard another noise at the front door. Knock, knock. Big smile. Open the door. Wait. It's going to get awkward. There's no more room in my inn. He said, um, how can I help you? And there was a couple at the door called Mary and Joseph. The Bible says that they've travelled a really long way and they asked, do you have any room at your inn? Sorry, said the innkeeper, I have no more room. People are in their rooms, on the stairs, in the living room. I've got somebody even sleeping in the kitchen. I have no more room. Joseph sighed. That's what every other place has told us, but Mary really needs to lay down. Well, I wonder why. Perhaps the innkeeper thought, why does Mary need to lay down? Has she been eating too many cakes or something like that? And then he had a thought. Wait a minute, I do have a, another place, he said. It's a um, <clears throat> executive um, <clears throat> outdoor space. Animal shed. <clears throat> well, Mary and Joseph were guided to the back of this man's inn, to the deluxe executive outdoor space. The animal shed. And Mary and Joseph were going to have to spend the night with Mr. and Mrs. Pig, Mr. and Mrs. Goat, and Mr. and Mrs. Dog. I mean, imagine the noise and the smell. That's where they were going to stay the night. But tonight wasn't going to be a quiet night. Tonight was the night that Jesus was born, where God's special king was going to be born into the world. And he wasn't born in a palace or even a hospital, no. But he was born in a manger in a small little animal shed in the back of someone's small hotel in the small little town of Bethlehem town. But that's why Christians celebrate Christmas every single year. That's why we love turkey and tinsel and lights and presents, because it helps us remember God's amazing gift, the king of all kings becoming our special friend. But then came a knock, knock. Who's that, he must have thought. Right, knock, knock, big smile, open the door, say hello, wait a minute, it's the middle of the night. Who's calling me at this time of night, he must have thought. Well, it was the shepherds. They'd come all the way down from the hillside. They explained to him that whilst they're on the hillside, angels covered the whole sky and started singing that this baby was going to bring glory to God and peace on earth. And they should run down the hillside and find out for themselves. And for the first time in a long time, I imagine this grumpy old innkeeper actually had a smile on his face. Not the fake smile he used to open the door and say hello, but a real smile. A smile because he found out that someone was going to bring joy to the world and peace on earth. That God's promised king had finally come into the world. But that's why Christians celebrate Christmas every single year with tinsel and turkey and presents and games. Because it helps us remember our God's special gift, his special king. The one who'd come to die on a cross and to come back to life again. So no matter what people have said or done, the Bible says that when people say sorry to God, they can be friends with him now and forever in his home in heaven. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed my assembly time today. And I hope you remember what Christmas is really all about. It's about God's special gift for the whole wide world. And his name is Jesus. Well, before I go, let's pray together. Are you ready? Hands up here. And we go. In. Oh, not bad. Come on, it's a Christmas tree. Ready? You got it now? Excellent. Okay. E, die, tree. Jesus, I want to thank you for our assembly time today. Help us to remember at this amazing time of year that as much as we love tinsel and turkey and presents, help us to remember the greatest present that you ever sent, your special king, the one who changed the whole wide world, and his name is Jesus. Help us to remember that I pray in your great name. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you in the new year.